You lost sleep, all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher-ups. My iris is clocked. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside and hunted down a hox as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, Mom. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. Uh. But look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about, then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put it to words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well... All of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. <sighs> all right now, let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. <laughs>